the iPad Pro. This is the iPad Pro, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a supersized iPad aimed at professionals, everyone from creative types to medical workers. With a 12.9 inch screen, it's about as big as some laptops, though at 1.57 pounds, it still weighs less. Like other tablets in its class, it works with an optional pen, excuse me, Apple Pencil, that allows for pressure sensitive writing. That means when you use it in say, a drawing app, your markings will be different depending on how hard you press. What's especially unique is that there are various sensors in the pencil tip that can detect how you're holding the pen. So if you hold it head on, your markings will be different than if you hold the pen on its side. What's more, the device is designed in such a way that when you write on the iPad Pro screen, there's a noticeable amount of friction, kind of like when you drag a pen across a sheet of paper. In addition, the tablet works with an optional click and keyboard whose flat keys are surprisingly comfortable. It helps that they're covered in a textured fabric that feels nice beneath the fingers. The other thing that makes the iPad Pro different from other iPads is that it has a beefier processor promising better graphics and smoother multitasking when you have two apps open side by side in split view mode. In addition to multitasking, there will be lots of apps optimized specially for the iPad Pro. Microsoft Office for iPad, for instance, will have pen-friendly features intended specifically for the Pro. All told, it could make a good competitor to the Microsoft Surface and even some comparably priced touchscreen laptops. That could be just the problem, though. With a starting price of $799, it's closer in price to a notebook than a tablet. Worse, the accessories aren't even included. The keyboard costs $169 and the pencil will sell for $99. That's a bummer since you kind of need the pen to take full advantage of everything the Pro has to offer.